Hi, Marilyn O'Hearn here, and I'm here today to talk about a four-letter word that's not used very often in business at, in organizations, at least here in the West. And I want to start with a Chinese proverb, and that is, a teacher opens the door, but you must walk through it. So, hint, this is connected to the four-letter word. And if we expand that to coaches, to leaders, to parents, to spouses, then what do you think that four-letter word is? Yes, it's love. Love in the workplace, in homes, is what leads to thriving people and organizations. And uh, think about Southwest Airlines as an example. That is how they hire. That's what their culture is. And I don't know about you, but that's my preferred airline. Um, so it helps with talent recruitment, retention. Now, we don't always use that word in the West. And I will tell you that a highlight of my year this past year other than the birth of my grandson, was having one of my participants from China, actually, who uh, was in my culturally confident credentialing mentor coaching program. And at the conclusion of the program, she said, I started this slowly, cautiously, not feeling very confident. And through your love and patience, Marilyn, I experienced transformation not only uh, with the coaching competencies, but also within. And other people use words like compassion, openness, um, stabilizing confidence, peaceful presence. And we know these are necessary for learning, to provide that safe environment for learning, and um, for people to become everything that they can be. I love that as a coach, to partner with people to unlock their, their full potential and see that utilized in their workplace, in their lives. And I know you deep down believe that too. And if you need research, you can look at the Wharton School study from, from 2014, but I think you know it. So my question is this year, is how will you open the door to love for the people that you work with, live with, etc., to thrive as well as yourself and your organization. Thank you.